Welcome back to Fusion Studios and today I might have something really, really great to show you. So I'm pretty much in love with game effects to be honest. Okay, I have tried a lot of things. I have a lot of things to show to you. But I'm actually thinking to, you know, first be a really, really good expert you can say. Like make at least 100 or 200 comms then. I might say some stuff to you because, you know, then I'll be a little bit at a better stage, you can say, to tell things to you because then I might have tried three to four different techniques to do the same thing and I'll tell you the easiest one, which I do in my all the videos. That's why you can see that videos take a lot of time to, you know, be prepared because I do that sort of same effect with different approaches or different techniques and find the best way possible like we did in the last one. If you haven't watched it, the crime investigation comp, then you should really, really go and check that out because in that, I told you the same lighting technique which you can do doing a single, with a single single background node uh, instead of using many brightness contrast nodes and many ellipses putting on top of each other and you know making that sort of rig and I also yeah I told you too how to make a rig so it's really good you should go and definitely check that out first things first second thing all the links would be in description below so please check those third this is sort of water technique which I have watched on YouTube uh, for after effects okay I try to mimic it in DaVinci Resolve uh, through various things again as I told you I first try a lot of different stuff and then share it with you. And if you're right now facing background noise problem, then I'm really, really sorry for that. I am not into, <laughs> I'm not accountable for that <laughs> because I can't change it basically. It's not in my control. So I apologize for that. I know it breaks the flow of the video, but what can I do about it? Nothing. Uh, So this is the water technique. So what I'm thinking is basically create specific days for specific type of videos okay so if you're interested in that please comment down below or if you have something you know a good suggestion basically so please comment down below so what i'm thinking is basically any day specific day for game effects any specific day for comps any specific day for typography any specific day for you know that sort of effects call out cut out animation whatever so things like so please comment that down below okay let's take it so i just mean that and the venture is all because that was the best method to do this sort of stuff in a 2d composting software to be honest because every other thing like they were great but i was not getting similar effect to something like this so what i did was i first uh, tried to do everything in a single fast noise i think i don't have that comp right now over here like i don't have that node over here but uh and that didn't work out. So what we are doing here is pretty basically, let me just tell you in very layman language. First, I have this ellipse. Okay, simple ellipse. The border width is increased. Nothing else, the width and height is changed. So a simple oval, you can say. Then another ellipse. This ellipse is behind this one. Paint mode is merged. Nothing else. Solid is unchecked. Increasing border width. You know all that stuff. If you have watched my previous videos. If don't, then please go and watch. Another ellipse. Uh, sort of, you can say the same ellipse. Just the uh, size is down. And put uh, over here. Then after that, we have another ellipse. This ellipse is basically masking out uh, this area. Why? have i done that like i can just simply go over here and you know uncheck solid over here and reduce the body width you see this is uh, like interacting with it so i don't want that for that i did all this and in this last ellipse i'm just subtracting all of it so pretty simple then we have this background you can say slight like lightish like bluish or something like that in this transform i positioned it over here reduce the size of it that's it nothing else then i duplicated it so i have this circle all the way down here you can see all the settings okay oh, sorry in this duplicate you can see all the settings no jittering happening over here just simple x and y value nothing else a nine cop then this duplicate duplicate goes into this duplicate that's why it's a little heavy effect you can say little heavy and again this duplicate is also going in this duplicate so that i have both of these filled and then all of it is being merged and we have this uh background canvas filled with it you can see for that another transform in this transform, what I did was I just increased the size. Uh, why is that? Because after that, we'll be displacing it with fast noise and some weird stuff was happening. So to remove that, I just increased its size, you know, so it covers basically the whole canvas. Then we are displacing it with this fast noise. The setting is something like this. The scale is really high. So if I show this fast noise in another window, so you can see it is something like this. So the scale is really high, but you can see some sort of voronized stuff is happening. And also the uh, type is set to gradient, not to color, just default. So, you know, something like this is happening. And it's being displaced so display settings are also something like this x and y not radial the x and y offset is zero y refraction and x refraction are both same so what i've done here is i have created an expression so if you want to do the same so what you can do is you can double flip over here type equals two and then take x refraction so whatever the x refraction value will be uh the y refraction will copy and paste then we have another displace so this displace is a big one so this displace is just for the thin lines you can say this one is for the whole image so the comparison between both the fast noises looks something like this so you can see it's a it's a really big comparison to be honest okay 
So one is really small, another one is really big and our image is looking like this till now. And also because like the seed rate is enabled, so because of that if I play, you can see it's also animating, which is really, really nice. Then we have some other things to show you. First thing first, if I come over here, you can see, oh, we got something in the back. So if I just uh, like click on the sticker and delay in the menu, so that transparency checker boxes are gone, you can see something has been added behind it. So it's nothing. It's uh, just this thing added on, I'll not say top. Uh, yeah, it, it is added on top. So on top of this thing, I can even do this so you can see what is happening. Uh, so right now, what has happened is, this is our basic comp, okay? I have taken the output from it and put it into the transform, increase the size of it, then put it on top of that while using the blend. That is it, okay? And it's the same you can see. So that we get this sort of uh, highlights, uh, light highlights you can say, which we see in anime or, you know, game or something like that. Then doing it again, but this time blurring it out. And in the merge, you can see the blend is really, really small. So, you know, and what we can do is we can even, if I change the extent, so it's really, really uh, small by the way. So it won't matter that much. But yeah, I have blurred it out and then put it on top. If I maybe increase it. Okay, so whatever. And the apply mode is set to darken that, so you might not be able to see it right now. But if I remove the second, yeah, so now you are able to see. So you see, uh, <laughs> you see these shadows which I have over here. So it's like I want to add the shadows, but again, the blend is really high. I don't want that much. So yeah, that is fine. Okay, after that, we have these little highlights. You can say small, very small highlights on the water. See, right now we are just sort of mimicking the water, how it acts. But in a way, it should also look cartoonish and should be done in like with these nodes in this compositing software. Uh, how I add these highlights is pretty simple. Again, taking all of it, then again displacing it uh, with this fast noise. Let me just disable this one. Okay, so displacing it like very highly intensely and then masking it out with i think the same fastness i'm not sure but so this is looking something like this so we have we are displacing it with this uh fastness map and this map is looking something like this then we are uh masking it out basically masking the parts out and then merging it on top and in this merge you can see the blend is really low so we get those really really shiny highlights uh sort of stuff you can say okay and lastly we have this background in this background i changed its uh, type to gradient and then gradient type to radial and the radial i just have two points one is the lightish lightish blue color second is darker blue color and the offset i have just you know we can play with it so something like this i think this was looking great then merging all that on top of it and if i play so till now it's looking great but not that good uh one thing i noticed i should have decreased it to something like yeah something like this point one is better than point one five so whatever after that i use this perspective positioner short uh sort of to you know position it in a better way or in a perspective which i want to view so something like that then in transform i played with its center x and y value and also size and then using tilt shift blur doing like getting that depth of field okay some glow soft glow so all the glow settings tilt shift blur settings glow settings soft glow settings another soft glow setting and i also use a lens player this time can you imagine i i have never used it in my life but this time i used it and it, it's great for this kind of purposes so this lens flare and lastly prism blur and our final product looks something like this final image looks something like this see but just this little cute you can say a node graph we were able to make this very very good satisfactory composition i really like water in an anime to be honest like waters is the best thing and also fire you know what i like every element to be honest but the water just it just takes me away because it's so soothing it's so relaxing and if you have some natural elements like trees or plants in your water oh man that's that's just enough for me <laughs> like that's it for this one this is our first game effects video i want it to be a good one so that's why i shared this water tricks sort of which i made in davinci resolve i know it's not that great if you have some more tips and tricks and again i'm really really i will highly highly appreciate your efforts to put all that knowledge in comments and you know what let me just increase the blend a little bit just a little bit not too much so maybe 0.75 i think this is looking great so whatever so yeah what i was saying is that your knowledge is will be like highly highly appreciated and whatever you feel bad please comment down below i will try to just make it a little better in the next or upcoming videos or things so your efforts will be highly appreciated again so please just 
करते हैं डाकन चेवर दो में और आई होप यू लाइक दिस कॉन्टेंट इफ यू डू गिव दिस वीडियो थम्स अप सब्सक्राइब दिस फ्यूचर स्टूडियो चैनल एंड दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वन आई सी इन द नेक्स्ट वन टिल देन पीस आप बाय बाय इन गया इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस फाइल एंड ऑल द लिंक्स अगेन ऑल लिंक्स आर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड प्लीज कॉमेंट बाय बाय